So finally, we are going to find out the most powerful iPhone after iOS 16.3 with the help of benchmark test. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mehran from Dynamic Tech. In today's video, we are going to be doing the N22 benchmark test, which is going to be really interesting because we have updated all of them to iOS 16.3. Three. Without wasting any time, it should be clear we are updated to iOS 16.3. Now sit tight, enjoy the music and let's see which one is gonna get higher benchmark scores in this test. Welcome back. So we are done with the benchmark test and now let's talk about the difference. So the iPhone SE 2020 has got a bit higher scores compared to iPhone XS Max but I would say the XS Max is far better in terms of battery life, camera and display size. Between the iPhone 10 and 10R, there is nearly 100k score difference which is making iPhone XR far better in terms of gaming performance while the iPhone XR and XS Max has got almost similar scores where I will prefer XS Max instead of XR for gaming. The iPhone 11 has smashed the iPhone XS Max with around 70k score difference because of updated chip on the iPhone 11 and between the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 there isn't a huge difference so I will call it even. While between the iPhone 12 Pro and 11 Pro it can be seen the difference is nearly 90k scores which would make a visible difference if you are doing heavy activities you will just feel the difference. And same goes for the iPhone 12 Pro and 13 Pro because we have got the same difference which is almost 90k scores and here comes the beast which has got 950k scores in the benchmark test and i am sure the next iphone 15 pro it will cross 1 million scores in the benchmark which would be totally insane so hopefully this video will help you to get the information regarding different iphone chipset let me know what you think about this one thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one